Hi, this is Max. I'm the lead engineer for Canopy and PlotHound, and in this video I'm going to show you why Canopy is the fastest and easiest way to set up cruises and coordinate all your cruise information. When you log into your Canopy account, you'll start on your dashboard page, which looks like this. It's got your recently completed cruises and cruises that are currently in progress. In this video, we're going to start off by creating a new stand. So when you click on this, uh, you can zoom anywhere on the map to set up your stand, we'll, or you can search. So we'll go out to Stanford, and we'll set up a, a cruise in one of the nature preserves near campus. So we'll, we'll do this place over here, and we'll just give it a name. We'll call it Nature Preserve, and we can use this web interface to just digitize our stand. So we'll do... Just a quick digitization job. All right. And that's it. So now we've created our stand. Uh, it tells us how many acres it is, and now we want to create a cruise. So we'll click this Create Cruise link, and you can see that Canopy automatically lays out a grid of plots for you. Uh, it does that based on some default assumptions we have for the variation and confidence and error levels you're trying to achieve in your in your cruise, you can tweak these and it'll automatically update the number of plots you have over here. So that's a, that's a really convenient feature in, in Canopy. You can also override these, these values and your grid will update automatically. Uh, you can specify the plot sampling type you'd like to use, the merge specs, and then we'll assign these plots to our Charlie demo account here. If you have contractors, you can also assign plots to them. Uh, or if you've created plots in some other program and you want to upload them, you can, you can do that here. And then we hit create and we're done. That's, that's all there is to it. Now, if you're using PlotHound, you can just log into your, your account on PlotHound and pull down this cruise. Uh, when you cruise, uh, when you're done, you just hit the upload button and it'll send that data right back here to Canopy and you'll see it show up in your account. And when you're completely done with the cruise, it'll automatically run a bunch of reports for you. Now, if you're not using PlotHunt, that's, that's fine. You can download a KML shapefile or GPX files with the plot locations here. And when you're done, you can use this upload cruise page, which takes Excel or T-Cruise files and reads that data into Canopy as well. And that can help you coordinate even if you're not using PlotHound um, on a large team of cruisers working on, on complicated projects. And it ensures too that you're uploading clean data. Uh, and if in the middle of your cruise, say, you're, you've become unable to do some of the plots, we can also assign some of your plots to someone else. So using this tool, we can select some of the plots assign them to Chuck, and there you have it. Now when, when Chuck lo logs into PlotHound, he'll see some of these plots show up on his account. Okay, so now let's go back to our, our dashboard, and I'll show you a, a completed cruise and sort of what that looks like and the reports you can expect. So we'll look at this Barrow tract, and so you can see here's uh, a bunch of graphs that are automatically generated as soon as that cruise is completed. You can also use these links here to download the raw data or the vo uh, volume reports with the statistical workups. And here you can actually see the raw cruise data that was collected on each of those plots. And it's all just available here on the website. So now uh, if you've got lots of, lots of cruises going on, you can also take advantage of Canopy's filtering features. So for example, we can filter by cruise status. So we wanna see just our in-progress cruises and here they all are. And so uh, you can chain filters together uh, and so on to narrow down, down your cruises and it just makes it easy when you've got lots and lots of cruises going on. The final thing I wanted to show you in this video is if you go over to your settings page, uh, you can modify your personal and company information. You can modify your Canopy subscription here. Uh, but most importantly, on your My Team page, you can invite other cruisers or managers to your account. 
and you can also invite uh, contractors as well. So that's that's it for Canopy. Um, we wanted to build it to be just a fast and, and simple way to set up cruises and coordinate data among all of your cruisers and contractors, whether you're a, a one-man show or, or a large team or REIT.